Okay, so we're going to shift gears a little bit now. I'm not going to talk so much about development anymore, and we're going to talk more about psychopathology, um, also known as psychological disorders, um, abnormal psychology, um, but I prefer the term psychopathology because it's not as stigmatized, um, and it sort of has more, more of an objective, objective feel to it, so we can sort of look at it um, objectively. So about one in four American adults meet the criteria for a psychological diagnosis, uh, but the more majority of these they're usually just uh, like depressive and anxiety disorders. They're not severe, severe disorders that would, you know, warrant hospitalization or would even warrant them to get arrested. Um, it's more along the lines of about 6% of Americans that suffer from really serious illnesses that require immediate attention. Um, but it, they are very widespread. Many, many people experience them. Um, and we still know relatively little about that. So psychopathology is a set of, that should say, a set of behaviors and or thoughts that do not align with cultural norms and can cause significant distress or impairment in functioning. So uh, the current paradigm through which we seek to understand psychopathology is known as the biopsychosocial approach. So there have been a bunch of paradigms um, that people have tried to understand um, psychopathology through. Um, and this seems to be the best approach. And basically all it's saying, all it means is that we cannot explain psychological disorders with only biological means. So some people may try to look into the brain um, and see that it 100% completely, um, it completely explains and can predict uh, psychopathology, but that's just not true. Um, and it's the same exact thing. We can't just look at the psychological part and we can't just look at the social interaction part. Um, it's a complex interaction between these three factors that give rise to the biopsychosocial approach and it give rise to um, our understanding of psychopathology. Um, so classification and DSM, it is important to keep in mind that classification of disorders are a human invention. Um, any sort of classification of any, any sort is a human invention, kind of just like we were talking about intelligence before. Um, so again, things can get very subjective, um, but the main goal is to try to classify things that we understand so that we understand them better. Um, and in the United States, our diagnoses, we use um, DSM, which stands for Diag Diagnostical and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. So currently, mental health practitioners in the United States diagnose using uh, the DSM-5, which was published in 2013. Um, so diagnoses in the DSM are reached by analyzing a list of polythetic criteria. So what that means is, for example, a specific diagnosis may list 10 possible symptoms, um, but the patient may only need to exhibit five of them to qualify for the diagnosis. So there aren't super strict um, diagnosis criteria. Um, on certain disorders, there are certain criteria that have to be met in order for the diagnosis to be used. Um, but again, it sort of just reflects our understanding of, um, of uh, psychopathology. Um, there, there are just a wide range of symptoms for a specific condition that someone may or may not experience. So uh, this, as of right now, seems to be the best structure for diagnosing. So you should familiarize yourself with the following nine categories of psychological disorders. You don't have to know them. You don't have to be able to name all nine of them. But if you read them, you should know what they are. And you should probably know um, at least one or two of the most common um, the like most common examples, the actual disorders. So basically for the rest of the lecture, we're just gonna go through all of these different types of disorders. Um, and we're just gonna give quick examples um, and talk about them. So we have anxiety disorders, uh, OC and related disorders, trauma and stressor, somatic symptom and related, bipolar, uh, depressive, schizophrenia spectrum and other psychotic disorders, dissociatives and personality disorders.